Lady and gentlemen, welcome to IAC 2020 web conference on African Common. My name is Ben Vital Kwanu. I'm a PhD student in agricultural economics, and my communication will be done on current status of livelihood, job satisfaction, and well-being of inland fishermen in southern Benin. The outline of my communication includes introduction, methodology, result and discussion, and conclusion. Artisanal fisheries support livelihood, food security of more than a half a billion people worldwide, have a strong encourage in the family economy, but are subject to over-exploitation. In Benin, fishing accounts 600,000 jobs, provide more than 30% of animal protein consumed, and plays a key role in food security. However, the density of fishermen in the estuary and lagoon environment of southern Benin is estimated more than 100 fishermen per kilometer square and remain well above normal mites in such environments, which is 9 to 11 fishermen per kilometer square. This situation has encouraged the massive use of prohibited fishing gear, the reduction of growth time of fish species, and a high ecological stress due to hydrocarbon traffic on water bodies. According to some authors, fishing communities remain highly dependent on fish stocks and are exerting increasing pressure on livelihood developing more productive fishing technologies. For fishermen, abandonment of fishing is rarely considered because the attachment goes beyond the economic and material resource gener generated by fishing activity. As non-monetary benefits, job and well-being satisfaction take in account the attributes of adventure, challenge, and being outdoor that are rarely found in other occupations. Conversely, the level of fishermen attachment to their work can influence the success or failure of management plans. The aims of these studies is to analyze the, stat the status of car livelihoods job satisfaction and well-being that may explain the motivation and determination of fish fishermen to continue fishing. The study area include the four most representative common uh, four most representative common of fishing activity in the southern Benin around the two large estuary and lagoon complex. There are Agege, Soava, Kome, and Kampopo commune, and the complex concern lac, Lake Nokwe and complex of Port, uh, Lagoon of Port Novo complex, and the second is Lake Aime coastal complex, coastal lagoon complex. For sampling, we choose 205 professional fishermen coming from Sales Village with through a Random intercept survey with 19% response rates. For variable measurements, we use sustainable livelihood approach to analyze the livelihood asset of fishermen, which include human, social, physical, financial, and natural capitals with ANOVA and key square test. For fishermen, fishermen job satisfaction, we use three, fish, three components of job satisfaction according to Polnack and Pogis. These components include basic needs, social and psychological needs, self and self-actualization. For well-being, we use single indicator, which is the answer to the question, in general, how satisfied are you with your life? This Data were analyzed with cross call wireless tests, ascending hierarchical classification with Stata 15 and Air software. Ladies and gentlemen, in result, we can notice that there is a high level educa of education in common and grand people common, but there is no level of education of education in Agege and Suava common. There is high level of 
membership of an official men organization in the possession of Akaja. This is prohibited fishing gear in Kome and Gra in the Hagege and Suava commune. We can notice again that uh, the fishermen receive the more than 80% of the annual income from fishing activity. We can establish a causal relationship with the level of education that will promote compliance with fishing standards, while the associative dynamic will strengthen the ability of fishermen to go against the rules established for sustainable fishing. According to job satisfaction, the fishermen of common ground people got the high level because the high density of fishermen observed in Agege and Tuava, where the density, what the sedentary and intensity of fishing activity guarantee substantial income, which could explain the rapid increase of fishermen number and could have a negative impact on job satisfaction level. According to well-being, the same result, results are observed. Common ground people get the high level of well-being and uh, and following by Agge. The satisfaction or well-being is intimately linked to the job satisfaction, particularly about basic needs and the opportunity to self for self-actualization. All on and all found similar results and state that fishermen in US, United States of America tend to favor characteristic of the occupation that satisfy needs related to self-actualization and self-esteem, and therefore choose fishing over occupation with high, higher income and lower physical physical efforts sorry for link when we analyze the link between livelihood job satisfaction and well-being with an ascending hierarchical classification the closer dendrogram help us to get four categories of fishermen with different characteristics the fishermen with the highest capital in Southeast are more disassified with fishing activity. Conversely, those who are satisfied in the Southwest have the lowest capital. Job satisfaction is a factor that has, may explain the motivation of fishermen in the Southwest to remain in fish activity despite the drop of drop in income and economic benefit linked to the fishing activity. Paradoxically, the high level of income derived from fishing in the lack of alternative of fishing could explain the persistence of southeastern fishermen to perceive fishing activity as the main activity. In conclusion, we can notice that effort to sustainably manage inland fisheries and resilience of coastal communities could and should benefit from the use of comparable and robust indicators in addition to livelihood and job satisfaction score to assess and compare the effects of environmental and governance change on the well-being of fishermen and to inform more effective and adaptive policy, policy and management strategies. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind attention.